Hello Cancer and welcome to your reading for the 12th to the 18th of June. In a moment I'm going to grab a galactic card uh, for your reading but uh, first of all let's just call in the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Light Beings, any other spirit guides and high frequency collectives that would like to be uh, join us for this reading would be awesome. And these are general readings so please take what resonates and discard the rest. Okay so Cancer, first off the bat, we have <clears throat> Zeta Reticuli, Rejecting Emotion. So we're going to read a little bit from the book here, and I will put a timestamp here so that you can jump forward straight to the reading if you want, but this card will be incorporated in the reading as well. So let's have a look here. <clears throat> but this is a little background to set the theme for today for you, Cancer. Humans have a tendency to avoid pain at all costs. However, our, our emotions are an important function of being human. If we make choices to avoid emotional pain, we end up rejecting all emotions, including the positive ones. This happened to the Zetas. Life then becomes dull and we feel disconnected from those around us and the universe. <clears throat> Let yourself embrace all emotion, positive and negative. As being a valid part of being human. Let emotions teach you the lessons you need to learn and enrich your life. Zetas learned this lesson too. They then had to relearn emotions from humans. Uh, so they went through a phase of rejecting uh, emotion, but then had to, but then there were negative, very negative repercussions for that, and they had to sort of then backtrack and relearn um, how to feel again so let's just pop this down for now and we're going to start your reading cancer we're just going to grab a card here for uh, to sort of represent uh, you or a current energy that you are in at the moment and uh, <clears throat> these readings are going to change a little so we're going to use the galactic cards as the crossing energy okay so let's have a look at I've been guided to do this so yeah here we go two of swords <clears throat> so this is a decision that you are needing to make i believe cancer there is uh, a decision that you're needing to make and you may or may not be uh, including your emotions within that or if it's a decision that you know is going to cause you some pain and anguish uh, you could be not wanting to make the decision because you don't want to be feeling that emotion or it could be that <clears throat> the decision you're needing to make is really requiring requiring you to be unemotional okay let's we're going to get some more information on this but it's to do with um, emotion around a decision I believe let's have a look I'm going to just grab a card now for uh, your recent past. So what has perhaps just transpired. And okay, so this is the page, correction, the Knight of Wands. So this is about you identifying a passion. Okay, it's about you wanting to move forward and learn uh, and move into a new direction with enthusiasm and drive and you have a it's almost like you have a very kind of clear idea focused idea of what that is going to be so let's keep going we're going to grab a another card now for an energy that you're bringing in uh you know which could be to do with your qualities or your um, skills and talents but this is uh it can also, this, this position where I'm popping the card down in my Celtic cross here is that this can also represent a childhood energy, okay? So this is an energy of five of swords, which can, which can be to do with drama. Okay, so there may have been arguments or disputes um, <clears throat> when you're growing up as a child. Maybe it wasn't all smooth sailing. I mean, not many people have a completely smooth sailing childhood but there may have been, you know, some hurt, okay, that maybe you experienced some hurt there. And um, this can certainly cause us as children, if we have a lot of really strong, intense emotions that aren't pleasant, it can actually uh, 
cause us to kind of reject our own feelings as well because we don't want to we can sort of tend to put all feelings in the same bucket like okay so um I felt that it's it didn't feel comfortable as a child to feel to feel what you felt possibly if that resonates and so then the automatic reaction then often is to move into an actual intellectualization uh, mode and to use the logical mind more so and I believe that's what the Zetas did they um, rejected emotion they thought they were advancing their race by um, going more into the intellectual mind but they ended up basically rejecting emotion okay uh, which for you cancer at this point you may be doing a little bit of that um, and there's a decision that's going that's going to involve some emotion for you possibly uh, let's look at what's likely to unfold <clears throat> because you have this beautiful strong knight of wands here really strong energy okay so the ten of pentacles so that's actually your best life so that's really positive isn't it so depending on you know basically it's saying if you take the learning like you take the learning from your childhood and you really uh, move into your passion here okay uh make the this, the decision that you need to make and maybe it's a case of there may yeah there may be a, an um a solution that's presenting itself to you or a decision that you may for a time need to just ignore the emotional aspect of that decision and just make the decision that could be um, if that resonates okay because obviously we were talking about the uh, the negative impact of ignoring emotions or rejecting emotions but sometimes when you need to make a decision emotions can depending on the situation and it depends what resonates with you you might be feeling that you need to really back your own emotions in order to make the decision okay tune into your own feelings more so that you can make a better decision for yourself or if you feel like it's something that that you know you're going to be emotional about but you just need to make the decision then it might be that you do need to just put the emotional aspect to the side for the time being to make the decision but you know it depends what resonates okay um so yeah it could definitely be about just acknowledging your feelings and uh really honoring to the you know if you've been through um difficulties in your childhood is to really honor that okay and that um that you don't have to keep repeating that pattern of of being continually hurt and uh feeling like you're not happy in life okay um so in other words this is about honoring emotion i'm thinking let's look at an opportunity here for you cancer wow so isn't that interesting this is air of air which is that very logical thought reasoning energy so there's going to be an opportunity for you to really master that so it's looking like clarity and you will be able to really communicate what it is that you need to get across to whoever you need to say that to and uh yeah and the kings are always a masterful energy and also that energy of you know holding space so being able to see the bigger picture okay that could certainly be um now a card is just two cards have just decided to jump out here so the first one off the top i'm going to just grab and that is the ace of wands so at the moment on the inside you are feeling like wow you've got it's almost like your spiritual path is very clear to you now this is about spirit and passion and what you're into and who you are okay your soul essence which is just fantastic so you're feeling really inspired on the inside it's seeming like there on there are other aspects that you need to kind of um, attend to as well however you on the inside we have this beautiful wand energy that uh, you're feeling within sorry 
And uh, this is the, the devil. So that can be uh, that can be a card of an energy of um, tenacity. It looks like obviously he's trapped here. So it could also be that in your environment, this is a, can be in the position of your environment that you're feeling a little restricted. Okay, um, and others may even view you as perhaps underestimating your abilities or they could be wondering you know why isn't this person in you know a different type of job why are they not you know doing a and b but it doesn't really matter what other people think does it but the main thing is that in your environment it could be that you're feeling a little restricted at the moment and this could be what the decision is around uh you know maybe there's some negotiation here that you are going through it might not be a decision it might be a negotiation or a discussion uh, and yeah let's look at for you cancer a an energy that you might feel is holding you back <clears throat> or something that you're looking to get into but this is the page of cups which is really activating the imagination okay and it's almost like uh, this could be your long-term goal, but it could also be an energy that you are, uh, that is within you, that you are wondering how you are going to be able to activate this. Okay, let's just look at, we might clarify some of these cards in a minute as well. But uh, the Page of Cups can be uh, imagination, creativity, intuition, but sort of on the, the dreamier side, like going with the flow, that type of thing. So, yeah, you could have concerns that perhaps in this situation here, you know, if you're feeling a bit restricted, that, you, that you're not going to be able to get into flow in this situation. There's something about it that maybe there's a, a lot of stop starts and maybe you have to nego um, navigate around a lot of other energies and a lot of people um, <clears throat> so it could be that you're wanting to move into an artistic flow but you're concerned about how you're going to do that um, okay so the other card that's these cards are jumping today this one's just jumped out and this is the wheel of fortune so what you can expect or you know the best course of action is to <coughs> This is about cycles. So it's about understanding that life is a cycle and that, uh, you know, perhaps identifying where you are at in a cycle in your life, you know, it could be um, helpful. <coughs> I'm going to pull another clarifying card on that as well, which I'm going to do right now. Let's first of all... Yeah, I'm just going to clarify the Five of Swords there for you in that um, background energy. <clears throat> that can sort of do to do that can be to do with sort of like ego battles, <clears throat> and you know things from your past that haven't uh, worked out <clears throat> ideally for you, perhaps as a child or as a teenager. Let's just see here, Cancer. I'm just going to clarify that Five of Swords for us you okay the eight of pentacles <clears throat> yeah so you have actually been working diligently and consistently and, and with with skill okay at addressing this if this was um you know perhaps a type of um trauma or um i guess i could say a type of abuse there are many types of abuse uh, financial you know emotional um, you know, there's all different types of things here. So if you've suffered a bit in your childhood, it's like you've been working away at addressing those issues within yourself, okay? So that <coughs> is a really great energy to be bringing forward. <coughs> so you have, you know, tenacity and perception. You're sensitive. You have understanding. 
Let's also clarify the King of Swords here in your opportunity. So this is that very uh, analytical uh, energy. And, uh, okay, King of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Cups. So if you can be really clear and speak your mind and really be clear about what, what you're needing, then it's going to lead to, uh, it's going to really help you in the long run. So that's, that's really great confirmation. Uh, we're having some really positive cards come out here for you, Cancer, and your confirmations as well. Let's also clarify the devil here. <clears throat> but on that theme of, you know, rejecting emotion, there's something that you're doing, either you're entering into a negotiation with another party or with a, an organisation or a group, or you're needing to make a decision that's involving another party, like then maybe there's a discussion. And there's an element of, there's an emotional element to it, but you are going to need to use your discernment here as to how much emotion is coming into the decision and also your feelings honoring your feelings in that decision um, or it may even be about coming into um, a connect, greater connection with your own feelings before you make the decision really being honest with yourself about your feelings okay spirit let's clarify the devil here devil is clarified by the magician yeah so even though you are feeling a little bit restricted here cancer you have this ability to, you have many tools, skills and abilities and you have a, a great potential or an ability here to recreate whatever it is that you want. So if you want to release yourself from this feeling, you have the ability to do that, okay? That's a really great confirmation as well. But you have this, you know, beautiful inspiration, spiritual inspiration at the moment. Now we'll finally just clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Um, but yeah, I think you're wanting to really kind of get into flow and activate your uh, intuition, which of course is that emotional, that's also, this is the emotional aspect as well. Okay, the, the cups. And we also have the Ten of Cups there. So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Here we go. Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of emotion coming into the reading here. Okay. This is a card of, you know, options, choices. It can represent illusion, but this is to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So it's really looking at your life is a cycle and that there's always choice. Okay. Just as here, there's a choice for you to activate your skills and abilities to sort of go within and really activate all the potentials within you to release yourself from this type of energy. Um, and, yeah, so this is really positive as well. I'm really loving how there's a whole lot of uh, cups. Okay, the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups come out. Let's quickly clarify the Page of Cups. And, uh, okay, yep, yeah, Page of Cups, ten, King of Pentacles. So, you're activating your imagination, your intu intuition and creativity, Cancer. It's going to be really important for you to be able to create uh, a life that you want, a, comfort, a comfortable life, okay, where you can uh, feel basically that, you, that you've got yourself sorted, that you've covered everything, okay. You've got your practical, your spiritual, everything's, <clears throat> you've got all your bases covered, okay. Uh, but also happiness and fulfillment there. And you have Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups as well. And I'm going to clarify the Two of Swords right now. And, okay, King of Wands. And just underneath that you have the Knight of Wands. So regarding this decision, 
or what it is that is needing to be negotiated about. This is about you here understanding your direction and where you're going and what the ideal outcome would be for you regarding this decision or this uh, situation or the negotiation. Okay. Um, yeah, this can be a card of impulsiveness. So it could be warning you to not jump in too quickly to making a decision. And certainly don't jump too quickly into rejecting your emotion. And also perhaps don't, you know, jump in too quickly with a pile of emotion behind your decision. So it's almost like you have to get that balance point of like, okay, um, I'm acknowledging my emotions, but I'm not letting them overtake me when I'm dealing with this situation here. Um, if that's helpful and if that resonates. Um, yeah, I mean, as always, if something I said hasn't resonated, you know, uh, just don't take it on. Um, not all readings are for everyone, so just keeping that in mind. So let's just clarify the Ten of Pentacles. This reading's gone on a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think it's better to be a little bit thorough than not. Wow, okay. Ten of Pentacles, this is clarified by the Hierophant. So your best life could be could involve you either becoming a a teacher or learning something new or becoming that intermediary between spirit and matter. Also bringing your spiritual, uh, creative and uh, imaginative things down into uh, third into third dimension so into material reality okay and that's really going to help uh, that's really going to help you with everything actually you've got the ten of cups here as well okay that's uh, emotional fulfillment that's you know everything harmony happiness uh, yeah all your relationships looking really great and yeah so cancer i hope that's been helpful <clears throat> but i think it's to do with you kind of honoring your own emotions a lot of this and to really acknowledge you know where you've come from and all the work that you've done and to really kind of back yourself here and just to remember that you have you've just identified recently your spiritual passion or your path and there might be a few little things that you're doing around that okay but that it's but it's important to you okay um and yeah that's what i have for you i hope that was helpful uh i look forward to our next reading and uh yeah in the meantime have an awesome day and a great week and i will see you soon bye for now